Hi, I'm Peter Jives, founder and director of A Fate That Does Justice. Last week, our country or our House of Representatives elected a new Speaker of the House, Kevin McCarthy of the 23rd District of California. Mr. McCarthy has experience as both a minority and majority leader of his own party in the House of Representatives, and his election last week occurred on a 15th ballot after much uh, demands made upon him by a fringe or um, extreme group of his own party, leaving many to wonder how will he be able to really lead uh, Congress going forward over the next two years. It is a question to be answered over time. We at A Faith That Does Justice uh, are, are faith-based, and we really believe that the idea that uh, all people need to be considered in how we move forward and not just some. We seek the common good in the work that we do, reaching out to people in need and trying to raise consciousness of those who are uh, much more perhaps like ourselves. And yet we lament very much the current political situation in this country and even social situation where uh, there is so much rancor and so much disagreement. I think the only way forward is that we have to keep in mind we must begin to dialogue, to be able to listen to each other and not demonize each other as we seek the common good of all people. It's the only way we're going to be able to solve some of the pressing issues of our time, including poverty, immigration, racism, our infrastructure, and on and on. Uh, we as a nation, the United States, really must remember, too, that we are founded on the idea that we are from people from different ethnic, uh, cultural, religious uh, backgrounds, and that we have been called from our early days by our founding fathers to become out of many one nation. And so it is with that that we seek to go forward and we must begin to think about the larger purpose of this country, a common cause in which we can all begin to share in. And with that, then, I think the other thing we need to keep in mind is, is that the, the ideological groups that are really challenging our political system at this time, we need to stand up to them. We need to vote against them. We need to say that this country is not about people who want only people who will look like themselves or believe in what they believe, even if they are pro uh, portraying lies to the American people. We are called to be greater than that. Our founding fathers ask us or have asked us to really speak truth and to live for the truth as people who can go forward in this world, offering what it means to really live for the common good of all, live with a common cause, and, and meet the needs of all God's people without regard to their um, race, religion, color, uh, sexual orientation, or political persuasion. And so we hope you'll join us as we try to commit to live into the values of our founding fathers so that we can become the shining light uh, beacon to the nations that we hope to be one day and may we live out the ideals that we really have been called to live. So thank you for listening. I hope to be back soon and speak with you again. Thank you very much.